My favorite time of the year is when I see the tree blooming with flowers. Having a tree in my backyard would make me very happy. Today I'm excited to start a new project building a concrete planter using cinder blocks for my flowering tree. Before we start, I want to admit that this project didn't turn out exactly how I envisioned in my inspiration pictures. I honestly feel like it was actually a failure. I'm not very skilled with cinder blocks, concrete or leveling structures like this, even though it's a small structure. But I'm eager to tackle this project myself. It's a great way to practice and learn and hopefully my next planter will be even better. It's possible to create something that's not perfect and still be happy about it. And this is how I feel about it. Even though the entire, process, uh, the entire process, I was actually doubting myself. I left the materials sitting for a couple of days while I work on the wood bark. I have an entire video showing how I transformed my backyard and I think it's worth to check it out. And I will leave a link on the description below for you to watch after this one. I want to hide this alien and I thought placing my tree here eventually it would be big enough to hide. I chose the dogwood tree for this process. The most important part of this entire process is to make sure the first row of cinder block is level to the ground and that is exactly where I failed. So make sure to spend a lot of time to level the first row otherwise the entire plant will be creaked like mine. Once my first row was leveled, or at least I thought was leveled, I mixed concrete mix and this is how I stacked them. At this point I have been working with cinder blocks for an entire day and with how heavy the cinder blocks are and the weather being 103 degrees, I was extremely tired and I started cutting even more the corners. To be honest, I thought this structure would not be strong enough with the way I was adding the concrete mix, but at least this is the only success on this project. It's strong enough and my dogs test it out later on, so I'm happy about that. Next, I added rebar inside the cinder blocks once they are all stacked and dry. To stack them, I used again concrete mix and I filled the inside a little bit with dry concrete and then I add water later um, because like I said, I was super tired and I was... I didn't want to mix any more concrete, but work out well. And because the sand that I have underneath the, you know, the, the ground wasn't soft enough for me to just put the rebar there. So I have to put some type of thing to hold the rebar. So that's how I did. I add this, add the rebar, and then later on I came back and I filled um, with concrete mix almost all the way, all the way to the top. Close this in the blocks, I used the pavers and the color differences because I thought about doing a white planter with a different detail on top. But because it was so uneven the whole structure, I decided to change my mind later on and you're gonna see what I did. Los frenos os arranqué, el riesgo me cae bien. Los frenos os arranqué, el riesgo me cae bien. A veces yo soy yo, yo voy a ser otro yo. A veces yo soy yo, yo voy a ser otro yo. Los frenos os arranqué. This is when I thought, what have I done? It's terrible, it was ugly. I left for a day because I was so sad about how ugly it was until I decided to embrace the super organic vibes and trust a little bit on the process. I thought that maybe adding the mortar mix, which was the plan, I decided to do a white mortar, and I thought that giving an organic feel maybe giving that Greek vibe that I love so much, but I was doubting this entire process. <laughs> Take care, cause that man 
this trouble, you best beware. And though deep down, I know I might be headed for teardrops. Now that you got me started, I just can't stop. No, no. Well, Stu said about how this started out and how uneven was, but at this point I had to keep it going and plant the tree. First I added about two bags of soil um, just to elevate the tree a little bit. And then behind the scenes, my husband helped me plant the tree because it was pretty heavy. And then I had some lights around to make, you know, more special. And my husband wanted me to plant something around the tree, like a plant or something. And we chose lavender because I think it can stand the winter and heat in Utah. This project was a learning experience and even though it doesn't turn out perfect, I'm happy with now. It's a reminder that we can find joy in the process and the imperfections. And to all the professional, concrete workers out there, I know this was a failed project from your perspective, but I end up loving it anyway. Please don't hate me for this bad job, just laugh with me. Thank you for joining on this journey and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I can't wait to share more projects with you. Until next time, happy DIY.